Alright, welcome back to another F1 video on this lovely Thursday. We have top 10, 10 wet weather drives in F1. Um, very, very looking forward to this, man. And just a quick in confusion, I don't think I've watched a race in which it started to rain. I don't think I have, so it's just a quick any confusion. I think I said something in like in like my last F1 video talking about it. I don't think I have watched a single race which has and which has which has been in the rain. I think I've seen the video stuff like that. So that's my only experience with it. But uh you guys are very, very big on, you know, on weather which is raining, it's which is wet. We see a lot of good races. You guys have mentioned that, like I said, so just go and check some of these out, man. Hopefully, you guys are doing good, amazing, very, very well. And uh, quick announcement: I did see Carlos Sainz talking about how the cars, you know, are kind of giving a lot of these drivers like stiff necks and backs. We've had some issues with these cars this year. I think even going back to preseason, you know, just some of the mechanical issues with some of these cars. A lot of people haven't really been too happy with them. Uh, the drivers, to be more specific, so. I mean, as a fan, you know, you don't want none of your drivers to get her having stiff backs and stiff necks. So, I really don't know what they can really do regarding the cars now since we are, you know, we, we are kind of in the season. But, let's just see. Let's just see. Don't forget to start the video. So, now let's get started. That was a long intro. Sebastian Vettel put Seb. in the mightiest of underdog performances at Monza in 2008 coaxing his midfield Toro Rosso to pole position in torrential rain on one of Formula One's most beloved circuits before delivering a lights to flag victory the following day in conditions that weren't much better. For any driver, the achievement would be impressive, but for the 21 year old to do it in his first full season of Grand Prix racing and without the best car, was staggering. Young Seb. It's been one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in almost oh, 20 years of Formula One. What a supreme drive from this 21 year old. Becoming at the time the youngest ever Grand Prix winner and showing maturity well beyond his years in the trickiest of weather. After this day, there was no doubt that Vettel was a superstar. Sebastian Vettel is a Grand Prix winner for the first time. He's the youngest ever, and that's one of the greatest things I've ever seen in Grand Prix racing. You have won the Italian Grand Prix. You have won the Italian Grand Prix. I'm proud of you. Bravissimo. Bravissimo. Thanks. Wonderful race. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, the best day of my life. I mean, this. this Talk to himself. I will, I will never forget. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It's so much better than you might think it is. It's it's great. Number nine, young Seb. Max Verstappen was aged just 19 when he earned comparisons to some of the greats with a spectacular recovery drive at the 2016 Brazilian Grand Prix. Having dropped down the order following a late pit stop for wet tyres, Verstappen proceeded to pass 11 drivers, including teammate Daniel Ricciardo. He's finding grip when no one else is. Verstappen on Kvyat, job done. And now look, here goes Max Verstappen once again. He might even be on the podium, yeah. <laughs> and the now four-time world champion Vettel in 14 breathless laps in Brazil. Vettel comes to cover him off, but in doing oh, so, sweet. he allows Verstappen the opportunity down. I think it's more pressure because first Verstappen is 19, we, and we already know how good Verstappen was throughout his whole junior career, even throughout his young age in F1, in Formula 1 or whatever. 19 years old, and to do what he's doing in this video, or in this race, is, I say it, man, he's... He's a generational talent. Like he just, he just, he's a, he's a, he is a generational talent. Like this dude is fucking incredible. Like he is incredible. Young set man. The inside. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, Max. Young Max. Yields and goes onto the grass as well. And Verstappen goes up in a fifth place. That a boy. Go on. Here comes Max Verstappen, and he is skimming his way over the surface. Though he was undoubtedly helped by his fresh rubber, there was no longer any question that Verstappen had everything. Come on, lad. You can do it. He's done it. 
It's something special that you're witnessing today, I think. His boss, Christian Horner, compared his performance to great wet drives by Senna and Schumacher. And Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff commented that he was redefining physics. What a thrilling drive that was from Max Verstappen today. Absolutely superb. Yeah, Max. Golly. The film Rush, the denouement of the 1976 Formula Oh, James. Was it James Hunt, the, uh, the little sex addict, some shit like that? <laughs> Wasn't he like, you know, he used to have all the females around his car and shit like that. My man Chai go crazy. Is the stuff of legend. The circuit was fast and with brand new asphalt, smooth. Meaning the track was literally flooded in places and the danger was off the chart. Racing brutal machinery in near impossible conditions, Nicky Lauda ended his title battle with James Hunt early, deciding it was too dangerous to race and pulled out mm. along with many other drivers. Mm. This left Hunt needing a top four finish to secure the championship. He was running second when a puncture put him in the pits and dropped him to fifth. Oh no. Before charging through to third place with two laps to go. An epic drive under immense pressure in a race that, by today's standards, would not have gone ahead. Give me a drink, give me a drink, give me a drink. <laughs> give me a drink, give me a drink. <laughs> Give you a it shows how reckless they were back then, man. They the didn't care. They were still going to race. Three European I would have raced it. Donington I'm with Nicky Lauda. I would not have. I wouldn't have raced. I wouldn't have raced. But, yeah. hey, some people are built different. Some people are built different. It's considered by some to be the single greatest Formula One lap of all time. Ten years after Rest Senna peace. first tested an F1 car at the same venue, he lined up fourth on the grid. It was fifth after the first corner. From then on, he was on another planet, instantaneously dispatching Michael Schumacher and Carl Wendlinger. Center is up to third. And after being crowded at the start, a quite brilliant couple of corners by Ayrton Senna. And two corners later, passing Damon Hill. And Senna into second place already, and he's giving it absolutely everything. 40 seconds later, he went inside Prost at the old hairpin to claim the lead. And Senna goes through into the lead. Arguably, there has never been a more thrilling example of Senna's skill in the rain. He went on to dominate the race, lapping all but one car. Truly a master at work. Who is the best is wet Senna. driver you guys have seen? That made sense. No homo. <laughs> Who is the best wet racer driver you guys have seen? That was a cool trophy. Lewis Let me see that bad boy. Start from oh, no. That was a nice little trophy. Center head. Sega? Was that Sonic? That shit hard. Hey, that's a hard trophy. That's hard. That's a hard trophy. The, uh, the design hard. I fuck with that. I like that. Lewis Hamilton made a lightning star. Oh, back at home, too. In the 2000 Lewis. British Grand Prix. Before dummy passing his McLaren teammate, Heike Kovalainen, on lap five to claim a lead that he would not relinquish. Look at Hamilton down the inside. The crowd goes mad as Lewis Hamilton sides up the inside. But Kovalainen's not having that. He looks in his mirrors to see where Hamilton is. Hamilton has gone past Kovalainen. Sometimes five to six seconds a lap faster than the other drivers on the same tire, Hamilton drove exceptionally, making everyone else look like also rounds. <laughs> by over a minute in conditions where, at points, he couldn't see through his visor. I don't know how they're still racing. Look at that, man. Pure instinct and skill, it was the day that Hamilton came of age as a true great and cemented his place in the hearts of British fans. I was coming to the, to the last lap and I could see the crowd starting beginning to stand up and I was just praying, 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 keep it on the track, just finish. You could not imagine the, the emotions that are going inside. Cine, yeah, I think, I think Sinners was the best one. I actually do think Sinners race was the best one as of, as of right now. What Sinners did, James Salt was impressive as well though. You know what I mean? A lot of people, you know, dropped out. Obviously, Senna's race, that was just that one lap, what he was able to do. This was incredible as well. My man couldn't see damn near. I'm looking at the race. God Everyone dang. Shout out, Lewis. 
Don't mess up your eyes, bro. Cheater. 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 <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> JK, JK. Ooh. And look at all those people still out there watching. Die hearts. Ooh, jeez. Oh, yeah. I know this. I know this. And once in the lead, simply drove away from the field, setting a string of fastest laps. The best of which a whopping 2.2 seconds faster than anyone else. And even more remarkable when you consider that in dry conditions in qualifying, his Ferrari had been nearly a full second slower than the Williams of Hill and Villeneuve. Often nicknamed the Rainmaster following this performance, the day was the beginning of what would become a legacy. And Michael Schumacher wins the Spanish Grand Prix after an absolutely Schumacher drive. Inarguably, Damon Hill's greatest F1 performance Japan. was to triumph over Michael Schumacher over an aggregated race at a sodden Suzuka in 1994. Needing to beat Schumacher to keep his championship hopes alive, Hill drove out of his skin under enormous pressure. The opening three laps were daunting as hail fell from the skies and the safety car was deployed with three drivers. Hold up, hail was coming. And they were still racing? Hail? Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> Listen. Nah, that's uh. Listen, I wouldn't even win a race when it's raining like that anyway. But if it's hailing, nah, count me out. Count me out. You gotta count me out. <laughs> you gotta count me out. Jesus. Oh, Martin Brundle. Badly injured a marshal. The race would be restarted, but this time with Schumacher holding a 6.8 second lead on aggregate, the momentum swung both ways. But Hill, with one tire blistering after failing to be changed during his sole pit stop, drove out of his skin under enormous pressure to hold off the two stopping Schumacher and win by 3.36 seconds to keep his title dream alive. Damon Hill wins the Japanese Grand Prix! I couldn't be cautious, I knew that I really just could not drive any with any amount of conservatism, so I was really sort of throwing caution to the wind and, uh, in an effort to stay ahead of Michael. And, uh, He's pissed. That's Michael was pissed. Schumacher was pissed. First position at the end of the race. Jim Clark's Lotus 25 was jumping out of fifth gear at nine and a half. Jim Clark, one of the greats of all time as well. Rest in peace. As he held the gear lever in engagement with his right. Oh yeah. Driving at Spa Francorchamps is tricky enough at the best of times, but doing so one-handed in the pouring rain while holding off Graham Hill is bordering on superhuman. Freaking imagine one is like his. One is driving. One is on the damn steering wheel and is on the damn uh, shit. Whatever you trying to. Fast as shit. You know what I mean? Trying to control that. I tell you guys all the time, man. F1 drivers are dodging crashed cars. Incredible, man. Gearbox problem. Gear, I see. But that's despite it. only using four gears, he lapped the field up to third place. And while Bruce McLaren finished on the same lap, he was very nearly five minutes behind the flying Scott. By any standard, it had been a stunning performance. Jesus, Senna, Portugal, 85. Ayrton Senna's first victory in Formula One was nothing short of remarkable. The track was flooded. The light was terrible. Something like that car. Did y'all see that? The track that car right there is not even moving. But Senna Jesus. While other drivers, including the likes of Alain Prost and Keki Rosberg, struggled simply to keep their cars pointing in the right direction, Senna, racing for only the second time for Lotus, and in just his 16th Grand Prix to date, put on a masterclass in wet weather driving, obliterating the field and lapping everyone but the Ferrari of Michele Alboreto, who finished over a minute behind. Out goes the checkered flag, and Senna has won. Senna flung off his seatbelts and all but climbed out of the cockpit as he raced down the pit straight, arms aloft in celebration. 
he had well and truly arrived. I could not see anything. I know. With the cars going in front, it was impossible to see anything. And you have, and you had to go by because it was a big difference in the pace that I was going. So it was one of the, the biggest moments that I had in the race. Number one. Who is it? A series of deaths oh, earlier in the 1968 geez. season, including that of Jim Clark, had brought Formula One safety into sharp focus. So the prospect of racing on the Nürburgring, the most challenging and dangerous track in the world, seemed even scarier than usual. Jackie Stewart. Before the weather made it even worse. An ugly concoction of heavy rain, fog, and mist was just something else drivers were expected to deal with. And none did so better than Jackie Stewart. His team boss, Ken Tyrrell, later revealed that it was the only time he'd ever ordered a driver to race against their will. But Stewart rose to the occasion nonetheless, dominating the race and winning by over four minutes. Racing in those conditions would never be allowed today. Mm -hmm. And as such, Stewart's drive that day is, in many ways, unsurpassable. A blend of bravery, skill, and talent that we will not and probably should not ever see again. I agree with that to be number one. I'm perfectly fine with that to be number one. Um, obviously, we've seen a lot of great drivers. Schumacher, Senna, Lewis Hamilton for stopping Seb, Jackie Stewart, Damon Hill, and a lot more. They was all great. I could I, uh, I couldn't. I don't know if I have a, a favorite one. They was all could possibly be my favorites. Obviously, with Seb, they had 21 obviously early on with Lewis Hamilton then, which uh, had Great Britain. And, what, and just go back to the last one, what Jackie Stewart did. I'm sorry, I got mosquito bites. I'm scratching, but what Jackie Stewart did that last race, I mean, also with Jim Clark dying that same season. You know, it's, it's incredible, man. It's just, it's incredible what these drivers can do when it's wet racing. So, <laughs> that's just top tier, man. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, don't forget to like the video and stuff as well. We'll see you guys later.